I wasn't expecting to get this wide open. <laughs> I was, I, I, he usually gets open, but he doesn't usually get this wide open. That was insane. He's going to be pretty much instantly gone as he just runs right back, uh, right past the cornerback. Like I said, this route is one of the best routes in the game. It's one of the glitchiest routes in the game. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today. I'm still trying to put out as much stuff as possible when it comes to the new patch defenses, the new cover threes, the new cover fours. Trying to break that defense as bad as I've pretty much broken it in the past. And I think that I, I really uh, topped myself on this one today. Uh, since the patch came out, you guys probably noticed that cover three doesn't really get bombed on very easily. I put out several videos already trying to, to attack these new patch defenses defenses i'll try to put links in the description below if you guys are trying to see good post patch um you know coverage beaters uh, but without a doubt like i said i think today i'm going to top those uh with the uh the, the gun empty y saint now if you use the saints playbook you should know this formation it's pretty much the go-to passing formation in this particular uh playbook i think the saints drag play which i put out at the beginning of the year and is one of the glitchier cover three beaters since the beginning of madden uh plays like that and probably the middle high low that i also put out were probably two of the the biggest reasons that the latest patch came out the way that it came out uh, and I'll show you that as the video goes along. But the Saints drag play was like an instant one play touchdown against cover three with really no adjustments. And that's pretty much how the today's play is going to be as I'm going to basically, uh, you know, make this play work again. All you really have to do is just move up two spots to the Saints corner. So this play here and the route that I'm going to attack is one of the glitchiest routes in the game. It pretty much beats just about any defense outside of maybe cover four drop. I try to give myself one of the best defenses uh, in the game. Uh, I'm going to start off. We're gonna, I'm going to start off like a, a normal. I'm going to start off with cover two and then I'm work my way back, but I'm going to mostly focus on cover three and, uh, you know, some of the newer defenses. So let's go and let's pick Tampa two to start. Now, before I get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your mud team up like mine, I currently have a 96. I'm this close to a 97. Do me a favor. Check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Now, as far as this play goes, like I said, I'm not going to spend a ton of time going over the coverages that haven't changed much, but I will show that these play this play can pretty much be just about any defense just like it did before the patch um, as far as cover two zone goes it's really easy i mean number one you need a quarterback with some throw power uh, and you're going to need some speed at the y route that's pretty much all you need to make this play work i'm just going to motion in this x route this is the exact same setup as it was uh you know pre-patch uh, and this is pretty much it. You're just going to motion in the running back, streak him and the tight end, put the RB route here on a drag. That's really all you have to do. And you're going to have a pretty instant one play touchdown against cover two, uh, just as long as you stay in bounds, which I did not do. But you can see he gets outside the coverage. So like I said, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but if I ran that to the open side of the field, it'd be even easier. So I'm just going to do that real quick just to show how easy this can be uh, a touchdown. You don't even have to do, honestly, all the other setups you don't even have to do. All you really have to do is motion this guy in put him on a streak his job really is just to pull that safety back and then like i said my biggest issue right now is the sideline but you can see if i was getting a catch and run animation it'd be super easy so let's go and let's move it right back to the center of the field and we're going to move on to cover three because that's kind of the important defense anyway so if you guys remember at the beginning of the year and i've actually put this play out several years in a row the saints drag more particularly the drag route um, would you know basically make a really easy one play touchdown against cover three if you ran this pre-patch uh that why that um uh, Deshaun Jackson there would be just gone instantly and I think that this play plays like this play are one of the reasons that these cover three cornerbacks no longer bite on drags now I do feel like and I said this in a previous video that the corner route that the X routes running actually still has that effect where these we outside uh, cornerbacks will bite I also feel like these comeback routes have that same effect now as far as this play goes uh, the one thing that I think is important, I think you should always run it to the open side of the field, but it's not like the previous cover three beater that I put out where you have to run it all the way to the hash. So to me, no matter where you are on the field, just make sure you flip the play. You can be just a couple of inches to the open side of the field and it's going to work. So just make sure that you're running this to the open side of the field and you'll be golden. So all I'm going to do now to make this play work 
is motion this receiver in. He only comes in a couple of feet, but that's all you need. And you're going to see that this play here is an easy one play touchdown once again. Now that, I don't know why uh, that bullet pass was so far out. I tried to lob it, but you can see he gets right past. That's the most important part. So let's go to the replay real quick just to see what happened there. Uh, because in the previous play, like I said, you can see that this cornerback, he didn't bite on anything. This one here, though, he bites down just enough that uh, Deshaun Jackson gets right past uh, and he's pretty much just gone. I mean, the, the angle of the route is really important because I don't have to bullet or pass lead away from the safety. Once he basically gets to this point, um, he's pretty much gone and you can just lob it up and he's going to he's gonna take himself to the open area uh, all by himself. Now, there are several adjustments you can make uh, to make this play, um, you know, it's really up to opinion if you're making it better or not but you can put this x route here on a smart route uh which i don't find is necessary but i find it can help especially if you're like second and seven or third and five or something like that it will shorten the route and it'll make that cornerback bite even harder then you could also put the a route on a streak just to keep the safety on that side of the field as much as possible you can put the rb route on a slant to give yourself a check down the only thing that can really make mess this play up is the defender in front of deshaun jackson if he gets a zone chuck that he basically slows deshaun Jackson down too much he doesn't get past the cornerback that's the only thing that can really make this play not work but you can see a lot of times he just whips or he doesn't get his hands on him and I, I attribute that to where you are on the field I think that if you run to the open side of the field you'll get that look now this play also has a lot of success against pretty much every defense uh, the next defense I'm going to show is the cover four quarters this is going to be uh, a very easy one play touchdown as well. So we're going to pick that. So when it comes to cover four quarters, we're going to go back to the original setup. Once again, you want to have some space to the open side of the field because this route angles in that direction. I'm going to motion in this running back and I'm going to put him on a curl. That's all you got to do. Once again, this is pretty much it. The Y route here is going to be pretty much instantly gone as he just runs right back, uh, right past the cornerback. Like I said, this route is one of the best routes in the game. It's one of the glitchiest routes in the game. So if we watch the replay here, I'll show you what happened. Um, this guy here is essentially going to be this zone just about every time these zones can act like man coverages but they're not like permanently assigned to receivers so that's why they don't cover tight like man coverage so this guy here he's reacting as if he doesn't know if it's his assignment and that's why he, uh, Deshaun just runs right past him so I'm gonna do it one more time like I said I don't really I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on cover four quarters because this hasn't changed I don't know if people watching this have already seen this video uh, but like I said there's really nothing to this uh, and these these are all instantly gone routes that's the best part about this play I'm going against an elite pass rush you can see that Chase Young is constantly uh, beating my left tackle he's constantly in my face I don't even think I have my starter and I think I still have my backup left tackle in there uh, but you can see it's an instant one play touchdown so let's go let's move on to the next level it's just the man coverages now this play can also have a lot of success against man cover one man cover two man zero it doesn't really matter exact same motion exact same setup except you're gonna put this guy on a streak that's pretty much it that's all you got to do I'm gonna slide my protection this time though because this does take a little bit longer to get open you can see the Y route really got off that jam uh, with which I don't, I don't even know. I got to watch the replay there. That was instant. And like I said, it's the same route every time, which is what makes this play so much uh, so much fun to, to run is you don't have to make any reads at all. But for whatever reason, like I said, this didn't even look like, I don't know, he just beat, that's just a heck of a, that's just a heck of a release as he just beats him way outside. And like I said, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get this wide open. <laughs> I was, I, I, he usually gets open, but he doesn't usually get this wide open. That was insane. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. I also like to uh, put the A route on a streak, put the RB route on a drag those are all just check downs uh, at the end of the day and this is pretty much it again like i said right there that was more the type of release i expected he gets open but he doesn't like completely the coverage route the gate so like i said i'm not necessarily expecting this to be a one play touchdown every time like it was that first play uh, but without a doubt i mean he did it again you know what i mean that was the just he just cooked it again like i said, like I said deshaun, deshaun jackson might be a little bit of a cheat code uh when it comes to uh to that i love deshaun i mean that's why i'm using the eagles i love the eagles that's my team uh but you can see i mean this is just insane uh with how glitchy uh this play can be just as long as you put your best receiver at the y route you can see how this play is going to home run just about every single coverage here once again like i said that's more the release i'm expecting you're not always going to get a one play touchdown but you're always going to beat man coverage and then obviously against man cover one man zero it's going to be even easier because let's be honest there's no um i guess man cover one i probably put like a slant instead of a drag but let's be honest there's no uh, safety help over the top the harder defense is cover two man which i beat multiple times uh but against cover one man uh we don't have that uh that over the top safety he's just going to get past it right over the top and you're getting an even easier touchdown so man zero man blitz even easier like i said the only defense that this doesn't uh home run is cover four drag
drop. But even though it doesn't home run cover four drop, it does have a very good play against cover four drop. I'm in cover four now. We're going to go back to the original setup, which is just, again, the cover three setup. We're going to motion in the Y route here. Uh, we'll put the A round of streak and all that stuff. We'll put the RB round of slant. None of that stuff really matters. But this is pretty much the original setup for cover three. And you're going to see that it has a very good effect against cover four as this X route here will beat it uh, pretty consistently. Um, so it's not a complete dud against cover four. Uh, it's really really a one play um, that can have a lot of success against a lot of different things that accidentally once again motioned in the wrong guy uh, but it's you know like I said cover four it doesn't hit a home run but it's still very effective so I'll do this one more time like I said you can smart route that x route if you smart route them I think it's even more effective uh, but you can see there's nothing out here you can just take this corner route against cover four all game so no matter what defense your opponent runs uh, we're going to have success with this play. Obviously, uh, you'd rather prefer the one-play touchdown, but ultimately, um, it's still, like I said, still one of the glitchiest plays in the game. So EA tried to patch this. They might have made it even more broken. So I'm going to go to my end the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Saints or you want to see more pass plays, more post-patch, one-play touchdowns, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my my bits and more. Link in the description below.